Welcome back to episode 58. So in last week's video we got the fuel pump on, uh, got the filtering, the accumulator and the associated pipe work looking pretty good. And in previous episodes you saw me make the decision about which fuel tank to go for. So this is the new fuel tank but with the broken bit which I'm not going to use, I've gone back to the original one. And in this week's video what I want to try and do is get that fuel tank back on with the cradle, connect it up to the pump and get some way towards getting fuel pumping. Uh, I think it's a really good goal. Um, so that's what we'll be doing this week. As ever, thank you for watching, staying with my journey. Um, please always click that subscribe button, the like button, leave comments. Uh, but for now, let's just jump in and see how we get on. Right, today's task is another one of the lying under the car jobs, but it's the final one, I think. It's the fuel tank. So I'm going to be gently offering up, using the axle stand, uh, sorry, using the trolley jack to sort of lift it. Um, there's a couple of pipes I need to attach and I'm not sure about the access so I'm going to sort of lift it up gently, have a look, see what I can do. Um, but ultimately I'm trying to get those four bolts in uh, just so it's suspended on its own uh, and then we can start just checking if everything's okay. There's a few cushioning pads that I've put in place, I may need to just sort of slide them around a bit to make sure they're in the right location. Right after a couple of false starts, uh, namely I was trying to thread this pipe through the wing, which let's not go into that now, um, I think we're ready to put the tank up. I've kind of sized it up a couple of times, but I'm pretty sure it will just slide up now. Right, so let's slice this off. Um, now I don't mind it having a little bit of surplus down the back there, but I want enough that I can um, safely be able to pull the pipe up. So if it was sat there, if my cut mark's gonna be here. Right, that's on there pretty sweet now. Um, obviously what I need to solve next is the, um, the, uh, the connector that goes on there uh, and I've got all the bits over in a box somewhere so I better get those out now. Um, I'm just looking at that, that's pretty good actually, I'm happy with that. Just making sure that feels like it's on there. Yeah, okay. So that's the return line completed then from the engine all the way back to the tank. We just need that um, the 12 mil pipe work to go from the internal filter to the pump, which I'll get an order now. Right, in preparation for uh, actually flushing the system through, what I need to do is create a couple of jumper leads uh, so I can take out the fuel pump re relay and convince the car just to pump all the time. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Right, they're the two jump leads. I think I only need one to actually short the uh, fuel pump, but I've got two because I know I'm going to be doing this a lot going forward. Um, so they're good. Let's get on and do that fuel pump. Right, after mulling over for a few days, uh, and after one of your comments on my on the last video, um, I think that fuel pump up there is not going to work. It's never going to be able to pull the fuel up without it being primed. So meaning, if this is just full of air, there's nothing to pull. Uh, and the pump will just spin, it won't do anything. So I'm going to have a go at relocating the pump back down onto the cradle. To do that I need to take the cradle off and then I'm going to weld the bracket back on, so yes I can use my welder again, which uh, is probably the main reason I'm doing this. Um, and then the pump will be underneath, but I'll probably have to fabricate a panel to put on top of it. So the original cradle has, uh, you've got the cradle, then the pump, then there's this sort of panel that keeps it all clean. And that was one of the reasons I, I put the pump up the top here and I was happy to put it there to keep it away from this sort of exposed position. But putting it underneath means I'm going to have to just make this uh, cover, uh, which shouldn't be too bad. But uh, either way, let's get the pump down on the cradle. So get the cradle off, weld the bracket on, get it all fitted back on and see where we are. Just so you can see, this is the uh, cradle as it stands at the moment. So what I need to do is, uh, I'm going to take the pump off and just sort of hold it up here, roughly work out where I need to weld it, um, and then we'll take it over to the bench and weld it up. This is still on the car at the moment, obviously. 
Right, a lovely Sunday morning. What we're going to be doing today is a spot of welding, uh, which I, I'm not a great welder, but I really enjoy it. So I'm quite happy that we're going to be doing this. Um, so to show you roughly, this is the tank cradle upside down. We're going to be tacking the, um, the sort of carriage that holds the fuel pump. I'm going to tack it in place about there. Then I'm going to put it back on the car um, and just measure this distance exactly. It's very difficult to sort of hold it and everything like that. But if I just tack it in place, I can then measure it. I can bend it or whatever. I know it approximately, so I'm going to be, I don't know, half a centimetre out. And then we're going to build a strap from here up to the um, the actual cradle. Or what you want to call it. Uh, so that's the first job. The first thing I need to do, though, is clear the paint off of here. literally just popped in two, two tiny little welds. Um, that gives me roughly where I want it. Now I'm going to just hold up under the car. If it's correct, I'll just blow a seam straight across there. Um, and then we build a spoon out of this piece of metal here. We'll make a bracket just to hold it in place. Let's go try it on the car now though. Right, so that's with the, um, me holding the cradle up. And I would say I'm pretty happy that I could pull it a little bit tighter in, but I'm worried about how close it goes to the tank there. Oops. I think that's spot on as it is, or you know, good enough as it is. Um, and then all I need to do is then patch a piece of, um, a sort of a strap on this left-hand side of this cradle uh, thing that I'm tapping my hand. Um, I think we're okay. Let's go do that now. So using a piece of card, I've um, made a template of what I'm going to create and weld in. You can see that I've just hold the, the uh, fuel tank cradle quite nicely in place. Yeah, so let's cut that out now. Right, and I've cut my metal, which is there. Not the best thing in the world, but good enough. Uh, and I've got my template. So I don't have any for way to bend metal apart from putting it in the vise and uh, literally bend it. So that's what we're going to have to do. Um, I just want to get my approximate fold points like that. So on the cradle, that'll fit in there like that. Let's weld that in. And then I'm just going to bend this and that'll weld onto this top piece. Right, uh, I know you can't see much there, but I've just clamped it to hold this bracket in place. Um, so I'm gonna first weld in, um, just a quick spot weld here. Then I can take the bracket off and you better see what's going on. Right, that's much better. Um, there's really nice, clean, uh, surface there now along here so I'm just going to drag the weld along over that bit I quickly get my gloves on um, I'm just trying to be super careful with this because I don't want it to uh, <coughs> corrode or you know I was going to seal it but I want it strong so the pump basically the pump doesn't fall off <laughs> There we go, so that's um, approximately held in place. It's hard to see. Uh, there it is, right, so you can see it's, I've got enough room there for the pump. You can see my sort of bracing place up the top there. I think it looks pretty decent. Not by a job, and that's held up. I'm just holding it by hand, but that's pretty much up tight. Um, now all we need to do is seal it, make sure no rust gets in there, and then we'll mount the pump and then put it back onto the car. Right, with the pump in place, and it looks pretty good. That's ready to go up now. So this is the uh, pipe that I've passed through just up here um, that will go off uh, to the fuel filter and accumulator. But I'm gonna try and get this up first, uh, sh which should be straightforward. Now get some bolts in, then we'll uh, cut and attach the pipe. Right, so this is the new inner wheel arch. So that's where the pump used to be. 
um, and I've put the new pipework in. Uh, I've managed to thread it really neatly right down the back of the um, the fuel tank neck, which is just there. And it cuts through a hole in the uh, suspension leg, just the other side of sort of where I'm waggling, uh, and comes through um, sort of just behind the fuel tank. So it'll drop down really neatly onto the pump, I think. Uh, then around this side, obviously there's the surplus pipe, which I need to cut and uh, pop on that uh, hose tail that's just right in front of the camera. But that's obviously that's pretty straightforward. Right, I think that pretty much wraps up the, uh, the fuel pump. You can see him sitting neatly on his cradle. The, um, I've just put this pipe in here. Um, I'm just watching to see how much it's constricting when it's bending. It seems okay, but I might, um, I might replace that with some fittings or something. I need to think about that a little bit. This one really pleased with, goes off really straight round back uh, over, all the way over to the front of the wheel arch uh, to the fuel pump. The wires come neatly round. Uh, I need to put some sheathing on this, but it's okay for the moment. I just want to get some tests going. Uh, I just need to check I've done this up tight, but I believe I did. Everything else is tightened up really nice. Uh, I'm very happy how that cradle's worked out. Right, this is a very, uh, a big moment for me. This is putting fuel in for the first time. So the whole um, fuel tank and system is all connected up to the engine bay. I've got it open at the engine bay. What I'm going to do, I've got about, I don't know how many litres are in here, five litres is it? Yep, five litres, so about four left in here. Uh, I'm going to put about one litre in, just check there's no leaks down the bottom there, and then we'll put a bit more in, uh, but bit by bit, and just slowly see if there's any leaks. Um, and then we'll try and pump some. All right, it's enough just to splash around at the bottom of the tank. So let's see what happens. Put the cap on. Right, I've glugged about a litre in and I'm looking here. Um, I put some tissue paper underneath so if there's any leaks, it will soak into the tissue paper and we'll know straight away. Uh, it all looks okay so far, it's been about five minutes. Well, I think we're okay, so I'm gonna glug in a load more. Um, certainly nothing's come out yet that we know of. But if we just put another, I don't know, maybe another couple of litres in perhaps. I'll leave about half of this, um, well, the four litres I had, which is probably around about there. So there's definitely enough that um, it'll be filling all the bottom of the tank, certainly around the, um, the internal fuel filter, which is where that repair is. Right, let's go and have a look at that. Right, deep in the fuse board. It's taken me quite a while, fun enough, to find which was the fuel pump relay. Um, you have to ignore what's on the diagrams for the 79 and the 80s. Uh, this, it's, it changes. What I managed to find, though, is that it was this one here. Uh, where am I pointing? I think it was there. Um, and it's this relay. And comically, when I took it out, it's got, written on it, I don't know if you can see from there, fuel pump relay. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, so what I've got is a couple of jumpers that I made up uh, earlier. I'm just going to quickly read the tutorial about how to jump it and then we can um, get the fuel pump running constantly. So th to jump the fuel relay, I've insert my um, cable like that. And that's the um, connectors 87 and 30. Right, first test went really well. So I'm going to load up now with um, all the petrol and we'll pump it around a bit. But certainly it just pumped all of the petrol that I had put into the tank back into this can in the bonnet or engine bay. What I'd like to get is um, connect up the supply and return lines so there's just a continual stream uh, and we can just run it for a while and make sure that there's no leaks or anything. There doesn't appear to be any leaks. Right, so that's all my fuel. Oh, 
Alright, so all we need to do then is connect up here. You can hear the fuel pump going straight away. Happily pumping. So with the, with the relay jumper in, I've got uh, some cunning wires here. And we can see, I don't want to do it too much, but it is actually squirting petrol. Maybe a little bit of a dribble, but there's not a lot of petrol in the tank. It's all going a bit too smoothly. Uh, there's a small fuel leak here somewhere. Right, it's on that pipe, isn't it? So that's the, that is the supply. I don't know how much fuel came out, actually. It's like a fair amount. Um, well, no, so it was just dripping. Um, I thought it might be on the return. I've, I've nipped both of these up. I think it's this pipe here, which is the supply. Uh, we'll nip that up now. Uh, and then we'll try again. Right, pumping again, and I think we're dry. There was actually loose. Uh, I'd only done that finger type, it's the, the one connector I hadn't really paid much attention to. Right, that's pretty good then. The pump's quite happily wearing away. All the fittings seem to be holding. Right, the last thing to do then, uh, now I know it all works, is to basically pump the fuel back out the system. I don't need it to have fuel in. Um, so we just let it finish up and that's test complete. Well, I guess you probably know, but that wraps up this week. Uh, and I always say it, what a great week. Um, I never thought I was going to get that far with the, my sort of sudden change of heart of where I put the fuel pump. But to get the fuel pump off, get the, the cradle welded, get it all sealed. Um, I use seam sealer, by the way, uh, all around the welds. And then I painted it with uh, black hammerite. Uh, get the, the cradle back on, fuel pump in, the missing pipe work in, and to go through the actual uh, jump into the relay, identify the relay, jump the relay, pump a bit of fuel, pump all the fuel, and then connect the supply and return up. So I've had the continual cycle. Uh, that's quite a lot of work. <laughs> I'm really pleased with that. Uh, God bless the bank holidays. Um, anyway, so in next week's video I've got to think what I'm going to be doing because I've done a couple of things uh, quicker than I thought I would so that'll be a little surprise for everyone next week uh, for now thank you for watching click the sus subscribe click the like button leave me some comments tell me the bits I've done wrong and I'll see you next week